What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to be going over some stuff, some top snipe filters. Yes, guys, top snipe filters. Before we get into the video, guys, smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff. That'll be greatly appreciated, man. Drop the like. Let's get 100 likes on this top snipe filter video. And yeah, guys, today. Um, we're gonna go over the top snipe filters. By the way, do not pop these packs. Um, they're terrible. We're also gonna run a stream. Um, right after this video, probably, probably maybe like 30 minutes to an hour after this video. Um, been liking the stream. We're probably gonna we're gonna try to get some of this going on. Some uh, multiplayer online triple threat. Um, yeah. So wish me luck on there. Pull up to the stream. Let's get into some snipe filters, man. Let's head into a galaxy oval snipe filter. That space word J did use man it's pretty much just galaxy oval lowest overall i mean lowest buyout that's pretty much the best one you're gonna get if you get a fire snipe on this filter it's very possible and if you do get a snipe you're gonna make a lot of mt so it's pretty much 30k galaxy oval we're gonna go over some other filters because you guys do know rashad lewis is price fixed we're probably gonna make a video on that but yeah usually every sunday i do drop top snipe filters in nba 2k20 so yeah this snipe filter pretty solid also i don't know if you have to refresh like that um i don't know if you do have to like press minimum bio to refresh i'm not sure someone let me know in the comments let everybody know in the comments so i can pin it if you do need to refresh by moving the minimum bio or whatever or you could just complete just press start i'm not sure somebody let me know down below but yeah it's definitely a good snipe filter next up we're gonna go over this snipe filter man a lot of my subs have been using it small forward thunder galaxy opal man this is a very good one um, we got KD Prime on here. We got Rashad Lewis, who is pretty much um, price fix. So we're going to go over that real quick. Um, here it is. 1.7 mil, guys. There's like none on the auction. Kind of tough scene. This is a pretty decent snipe filter, though. If you end up getting it for 100K, I mean, you get Kareem for like, what, 500,000 MT? Best center in the game. So definitely try out this filter. I kind of want to try it out, but I know it's going to take hours. But if you do end up getting one of those snipes, minimum 200,000 MT profit. So definitely try it out. Let's get into another snipe filter, man. Let's get it. Pink Dying Snipe Filter. This one's good. Honestly, I would recommend probably buying about 10 to 15 pink diamonds for around 5 to 10K. Because if you do, man, you have a very high chance of sniping something better. Especially since they are kind of flooded. So like 50 to 100k of buying out cards, which isn't a lot of MT. And you could pretty much make a lot of MT easily off these snipe filters, man. So definitely try out this snipe filter. Ah, number three snipe filter, man. This one's pretty good. Stay away from Dudley, Peja, Nate Robinson, Penny Hardaway, and whatnot. Other than that, man, this snipe filter should be deadly. You could get a couple of Giannis's, LeBron's, and whatnot. Whatever you want. Um, we're going to get into another snipe filter. This one's pretty solid. It's out of position two pink diamond. Um, this one's also really solid. You should make a lot of MT off this one. Let's see. Um, where is it? Out of position two pink diamond. We got the Giannis. We got the Bill Walton. I think Bill Walton is a lot cheaper than Giannis. So let's check that out. Woo. I'm so tired, man. Um, let's see. Pink diamond out of position two Giannis. So yeah. Why is he so expensive? Wow. He went up a lot. I, I guess this card really is that good. Um, I know he was like 13k yesterday, so he rose up a lot. Whoever invested in those cards made so much MT. So if you did, congratulations. You're literally, oh my god, he was like 10 to 50, he was like 20k yesterday. Wow. Okay, so Bill Walton, man, pretty good snipe filter. Then again, man, he's very cheap. So uh, it depends. If you really want to sell him the snipe filter, you could get a Giannis for very cheap and sell him for a lot of MT. If you want, honestly, if I were you, I would honestly just hit up the Giannis, uh, the Giannis shooting guard. Um, I honestly would. What is he? A small forward? I don't know. The new Giannis. What is he? A, a center. I would honestly go Giannis center or Giannis out of position and try sniping that out too because that's a very good snipe filter. You can make a lot of MT off that guy. So I would try out that snipe filter. I think you could maybe get a couple for like 20, 30K. He was going for really cheap yesterday. People might slip up and throw him up for what he was going for yesterday because that's really, really crazy how much his price went up. I've seen snipe, not snipes, but prices for him going for 13 to 15K. I've seen a lot of people buy out at that price. So 
All right, that's a pretty good snipe filter. Let's get into the next one, man. Heat check snipe filter, guys. Um, this one's pretty solid. It's been solid for a very long time now. Um, a lot of people are trying to complete the heat check collections and whatnot. They're pretty much going for like 2800 or more. So if you guys have some in your collection you plan on selling, sell it now, man. This game's getting closer and closer to end game. So you guys know how it goes. Just continue to snipe on these filters and whatnot. You should be able to make a lot of MT. Um, very, very good snipe filters and whatnot. So try it out, guys. I would definitely recommend you do try out this filter and whatnot. All right, so heat check filter, 2900, definitely try definitely try that. We're getting to the next filter, diamond filter. Um, this one is also pretty deadly. All righty, diamond filter, like I was saying. Um, honestly, it really depends. It really depends, like, what you're going for. It really depends, man. Um, I would say this filter is decent. It was a lot better, but that's, that's pretty good. You could honestly make, like, it depends what you get, man. You can make like 500 MT to like 5k MT, depending on the diamond you get. Diamonds aren't really that useful anymore, but it's still a pretty good filter. Especially if you get one for like a thousand MT and then you could sell them for 1500 on a quick sell. It's a pretty good filter. I'm not gonna say it's the best, but yo, we're gonna get into this one. This one is so OG. This I don't understand how this filter is still so good, but yo, Amethyst 20 still to this day is a deadly filter. Kawhi did kind of ruin it. You probably should enable him out, even though collections... Ah, it kind of died. Mm, 2300 for KD, 1300 for Kawhi. It's still a pretty decent filter. Just got to get Kawhi, Giannis, or LeBron, or Curry. Those are the, these, those are the key players. Um, pretty much, you just want to stay away from Kawhi. Everybody else, you're going to make a pretty decent amount of MT. This type filter is pretty deadly. I've used it the whole entire year. It was definitely better back then. But no, this night filter is pretty good. As long as you just don't touch KD or Kawhi, it's pretty solid. Next one, man. Out of position two, guys. Oh, wait. Kernelenko. So buy Kernelenko. Let's check out Bill Russell's price real quickly. Um, buy out Kernelenko and then definitely... Wow, why is he so cheap? He's low-key insane. 6'10". He grew an inch, I believe. So we're going to get to this one, man. Galaxy Opal. Uh, where is it? Out of position two. Buy out Kernelenko for around 60k. I don't know why he's so cheap. He's really OP. So yeah, buy out Kernelenko. Is he still a buyout? I think he is. Yeah. He actually went up in price a lot. So if you guys did end up picking him up for like 60k or 50k like I did, probably should sell him, man. The market was very, very, very crashed. It is Sunday now. Let's check out Opal. Wow, I should have bought him. He was around 50k yesterday. He's up to 70,000 MT, man. There's going to be a huge market crash soon. But yeah, um, definitely would buy out that Kernelenko and try out this filter because, yo, if you get Opal KD, man, if you get Opal KD, you're going to make a lot of MT. Like, I mean, a lot, a lot of MT. So definitely try out this filter. Let's just make sure KD, is KD on it? I forgot. I think he is, right? Yeah, he is on it. So try it out, man. Enabled buyout, guys. Bill Russell's really good, too. So if you snipe him out for a buyout... I would probably recommend keeping him. He's a very good card. Like, a very, very good card. Like, Bill Russell, you didn't check out my gameplay with him. Very OP. Like, a very, very good card, guys. So, Bill Russell, all that good stuff. Um, Let me think. We got a couple other filters, I guess. Obviously, this one, I'm not the biggest fan of. It is a very, 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 very hard to actually snipe on this one, but... I will take you guys. Um, it's decent. This is probably one of the last filters we are gonna show you. So probably what is it? 700 MT refresh about. So try it out, guys. This filter is very hard to come across snipes. You gotta have lightning speed internet, lightning speed hands. So good luck. And also, guys, let me know down below. So yeah, I just refreshed without moving the minimum bid or whatnot, and it did just refresh. So you no longer have to move any of the minimum bids or the buyouts. So that's pretty good. Anyways, though, I really that's really it for the video, man. I really got nothing else to talk about. These are the snipe filters. I think that's like 8 to 10 snipe filters. We're just going to call it 10. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys know any other snipe filters I could expose to the community, let you guys know. Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content, guys. Have a good one. Call out to the stream. Peace.